What's going on guys, King Trats here, back another video on the channel. And today we are trying a brand new restaurant that just opened up near me. They do Poke Bowls, Ramen, and Boba Tea. So that is what we have today. This restaurant is known as Waikiki Poke Bowl and Ramen. It's located in Saddlebrook, New Jersey, and it is brand new. I found a flyer, basically, that you know send mailers out. So this flyer, I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it this weekend. So that is what we have today. I've never actually had bubble tea, so this should be interesting, but I love poke, I love ramen. Also got some chicken wings, as well as some pork buns with some hoisin over here. So here's the ramen sauce that's sitting on the back there. That's what's on the line today, drop a thumbs up. We like getting new places, trying stuff out. This way you guys can have a set of, I guess like a palette that can give you some recommendations, whether it's worth the trip or not. So drop a thumbs up for your boy. You already know the vibes, man. Let's get into this. Okay, let's start with the poke. If you're unfamiliar with poke, um, well, some people call it just sushi in a bowl. So there's usually some sort of fish with rice. I use rice, there's different kinds, but then they get all kinds of side dishes you can serve with. Think of like a seafood burrito bowl. That's a better way of looking at it, in my opinion. So we have a loaded bowl here. You get a pretty decent amount for what it costs. This bowl came out to $14. And in the bottom there is white rice, but I also got ahi tuna with spicy salmon, some edamame, corn, scallion, jalapenos, Hawaiian poke sauces on there, as well as yum yum sauce, seaweed salad, ginger, pineapple, kimchi, garlic, nori, and furikake, which is like a seasoning uh, blend. So there's a lot of stuff going on on here, and it smells really good. The fresh ginger, the ginger smells fresh, the pineapple looks fresh. Don't make fun of my fingers, bro. I have fingers that dislocate and don't look good on camera. So if you see my, well, I'm grabbing stuff like a weirdo, that's why. Nice looking pineapple right here. I love me some pineapple. Got the seaweed salad. Let me get into some of this fish right here. Let me just grab it. Fish looks really fresh. Mmm. Fresh jalapeno as well. I might have to like. The kimchi is really good. Let me get the kimchi piece. You know I love kimchi. I eat it all the time. So that's fresh kimchi. Good amount of rice. Pretty healthy helping. First thing you notice is how fresh everything is. Big plus. Oh, even the pineapple. Man, that's good. With poke, I think it's definitely more about ingredient quality. The kimchi is actually pretty spicy in a good way. Nice little kick at the end. And everything in here, including the edamame, let me get a little bit here. Okay, stop. Including the rice. Haven't tried the seaweed salad yet. Or the pineapple. Very, very fresh. Very, very fresh. Now for people who don't like raw fish, you can get the same options. They also have chicken and shrimp. But I do like raw fish, so I obviously did. Um, like I said, the key to poke for me is having quality ingredients. The ingredients here are quality. Similar to a sandwich. To make a good sandwich, you need good ingredients. Definitely, we'll be back here if the poke itself is the indicator to everything. I think we're in for a good thing. And there are not that many places around here. Let me get a little more of this. Spicy tuna, man. With the pineapple. Oh, this is going to be a bite. That's just good, man. This whole thing is excellent. I would go there just to buy the kimchi. I love kimchi. And unless you go to the specialty markets, it's not easy to find. When you go to just like, you know, a Walmart or something, a lot of places don't have it. Man. Yeah. Quality. Very good. 
bites work. Okay, stop eating this. After like two more bites. I said two, that was one. I count. The Hawaiian sauce, like they said, it says a Hawaiian house sauce or something like that. Almost gives like a lime ponzu kind of flavor to it. Teriyaki. Oof. And the yum yum. It's like a mayonnaise base. This is very good. Eight and a half. Very good. This is my first time ever trying boba tea. And I ordered this while I was talking to my Twitch chat. So, I never really know how to drink it. Apparently, you, like, drink through the straw, but you chew the tapioca on the bottom. This is strawberry. Again, first time ever having it. So, please, don't make fun of me, bro, okay? I'm, I'm trying to keep it a buck with y'all. I shook this up a bunch of times. I think that's what you're supposed to do. A little more. Not really up. I don't do this stuff kind of stuff like this. That tastes like strawberry quick. Then you start getting a little bit of the tea in the background. And the, the tapioca balls just add like a little. This is good. Honestly. So this is what y'all be going crazy for, huh? I can see why, bro. It's pretty good. Mmm. Very good. I like that. I like strawberry quick a little bit. But chewy. I don't really know the balls being necessary. Stop. I don't really know the, the, the necessary part of the balls. But as far as the drink goes, I rock because I like strawberry like drinks like that, like the quick and stuff like that. Yeah. The the the, the little chewy things that like kind of throw me off, but the flavor of the drink, so I'll give it an eight. I do like it. How to get their wings. Well-priced wings. Six wings. Six dollars and ninety-five cents. So a little over a dollar a wing. I don't have an issue with that. It says it has their own house seasoning. Obviously, they are breaded and fried. I didn't know what to expect. They seem crispy. So let's try the wings. You know I'm a wing guy, so got my drum. I'm ready for this. There's a lot to like about these wings. Breaded perfectly, fried perfectly. Inside, moist as hell. Moist as hell on the inside. Um, let me get one more bite. Almost choked on a tapioca bowl. I knew that was gonna happen. Let me get one more bite of this. I just need to double check something. Now they have their own seasoning on here. I can see it. I can kind of taste it. I just wish there was more of it. Everything else about these wings are very good. I just would have liked a little more. Sorry for that. I just would like a little more flavoring on a breading. But I feel like that's just adding more seasoning. Like if I went back, I could just tell them put a little bit because I just like a little seasoning wicker on the top. And these are damn good. Like I'm not really the type of person that does these crunchy breaded wings like this. When I think of wings, I think of the unbreaded. But these are just like fried chicken wings. I'm looking at it that way. See. I just got a bite that had more seasoning on it. That's what I'm looking for. If the whole thing tasted like that, I'd be screaming how happy I was. But even with that, whoever frying these and breading these up, you did them perfectly. I have zero complaints about anything else. And I'm usually pretty harsh when it comes to wings. Good crunch, good crisp. There's a little bit more of that seasoning. I got, I got that one bite and I want that the whole time. Oh, I would eat these again. And they're, the pricing... I just got it again. I need all. I need more of that right there. That's. I'm talking these would be like nine and a half wings if, if they weren't. I'll give them an eight and a half. Everything else, man, just perfect. 
<clears throat> really nice job. Not gonna mess. Okay. Pork buns. Normally it comes with lettuce. Now that's for without lettuce because I don't like lettuce. So usually when I get pork buns, it look a little sad. Unless I get something to replace it like cabbage. It comes with a hoisin sauce, which they put on the side. The pork buns look really light. There's a small piece of the pork belly that is in here. I'm just gonna dunk this. Normally they like to just put it on a sandwich, but we fat. This is how it normally comes, so I'm not gonna do it without it first thing. I'm just gonna dunk it in and see what's going on. Ooh. Okay, I have to bite this without it. Just to see something. This is crazy good. I don't know if they're making the hoisin or something, but... With the hoisin on here... Amazing. For what you get, though, looking at this, the pork bun itself... It's not chewy. It's it's not a bad consistency. I just feel like I just want more pork on here. Like, if I would've got lettuce, they would just stacked it up with lettuce to make it look bigger. But I always like to get stuff without to see how much meat they actually give you. This is a very thin slice. Usually with pork belly, it's a little bit thicker of a piece, which I prefer. But even with that, um, let me just get one more bite of this. The pork fat itself is good. I would've liked maybe a little bit more salt or pepper. The, 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 I like salty pork fat. And this isn't salty, it's just fatty, which is okay, but just a suggestion as far as like improving that. But when you add it up with this hoisin, it still is pretty good. Just needs improvement with certain stuff. I just need a bigger piece of, of, of like protein, but this gets a six and a half. It's still good, but there's other things that can easily bring this up to like an eight or a nine. We got our ramen. Oh, spilt one. Happens when you got these fat fingers. Okay, so I got the tonkatsu ramen. The contents may have shifted a little bit in the bag, but that's on me because I think I just kind of like tilted the bag a little bit on the way home. But you can see what's in there. The ramen itself, as well as the fried egg. Um, I got an extra one, which they gave me right here. Uh, obviously the noodles on here. What I smell is like mushroom, like maybe, yeah, these are mushroom shoots right here. I don't remember what, I just ordered the tonkatsu ramen. So I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna have to get in here to see what else is going on. Still getting a garlic smell. That is not a complaint. I love garlic. I got the medium spicy. They have mild, medium, and extra spicy. I didn't want to get extra spicy, so you got me sweating on camera and everybody started laughing at me. So I got medium, so I can at least try to get the flavor and see what's going on in here. But let's pour our ramen in. It's always better when you get the ramen in-house, I know, but I review, I review food and it's hard to review food in restaurants for a lot of reasons. Okay, so. Let me just let that reincorporate. Let me just I'll spill this all over the place. I'm going to try the block right cell. So. Okay, so there's a little bit of spice in the broth. Not crazy, just enough to let you know it, that you did get it spicy. Which, if you ask for medium, I, that, I think that's pretty fair. Secret to good ramen for me is the broth. Gotta have good broth. Without good broth, you have nothing. Again, it's about the ingredients. Let me try this egg. Hold on now. Where did the other egg piece go? You can see by the coloration that this has been marinated or cooked in like soy. I got the soy right away with that creamy, the medium boil. Look at the boil on this. If you like hard boiled eggs, you don't look away. It's not runny, but it's that medium boil, which I actually, when I make my ramen, I try to do myself unsuccessfully half the time. Super creamy. Oh, that's good. The damn egg. You can to incorporate it in here, see what's going on. Let me get this one good bite and see.
the secret to this, you gotta get everything in every bite. It all works best when you get a little bit of everything. So you gotta get a little bit of the pork, a little bit of the noodles, obviously the broth, a little bit of that egg. Let me just stick my chopstick in your egg, baby. As well as the earthiness from that mushroom. I'm just gonna ignore that I said that. Let's keep going. And together is where all those flavors kind of like marry together a little bit and really bring it home. I know it's gonna sound really like, what the hell is he talking about? But this ramen, you gotta think of it like a band. I'm serious. You gotta have the guitars, which obviously most people hear, and you got the drums. And you gotta have the flute and all the other, I'm hoping no band flute. Whatever kind of band it is, orchestra, how's that? And you need that egg, which for me, when I listen to like orchestra music, I just equated this to a damn band. Just hear me out, bro. Like orchestra music, that's the violin. The violin just moves me and that egg just moves me. Like I got one more in here and I'm afraid to eat it because I want it, but I'm gonna eat it. Mm. I'm not joking with you. I would get like seven of those eggs if I ordered this ramen again. Like, what kind of meat you want? Just give me the eggs. The pork, just like, this is the same pork that goes on the pork buns. It just doesn't move me very much. It's good, but the real stars of this show, for me, the ramen broth itself. Excuse me. With a little bit of that spice. And that egg. Everything else you need in here to make it complete, but at the same time, I would definitely eat this ramen again. To be perfectly honest, I like the, the spice level, but I would have liked this even more. I should have got the extra spicy. I just didn't want to risk it in this video of getting something that might have been too spicy to the point that when you're eating spicy stuff, your tongue gets hot and then it gets annoying to talk. So I didn't. But if I was just casually eating this, there's okay spice in this. But I would have liked it on a scale of one to ten. It's still it's like a four or a three I would have preferred like a six or a seven. I would like can we I, I like that's why I like that system of rating Excuse me For me a perfect spice level is a little bit above hot when I'm eating and just trying to enjoy my food You don't want a ten. I'm not with that So like a six or a seven would have been dumb but I really, really, the best part of this was the egg. And again, it's hard to find decent ramen places. No joke. This is good ramen. I would eat it again. But if I was picking between the ramen and the poke, I would 100% get the poke. The ramen for me is good, but I would have liked more with the pork a little bit more. I think you can build a good bowl, but I didn't see the option to build it. I only saw options for the poke, and I prefer building it for this reason. I would have been able to build something that I would enjoy the flavors a little bit more. Um, but even with that, the noodles are good. The broth is good. The protein was good. I don't really have complaints about this place. I do think it's worth trying, especially if you like poke. I would give the ramen a go. The wings are, yes. But if you like ramen and you find it hard to get ramen, it's local. The food's fresh, the ingredients are good. I would definitely eat it again. The, this ramen, I would give a seven and a half. I do like it a lot, but the poke for me was the star of the show. Super fresh, delicious. And I know bubble tea is really popular, so I would definitely get the bubble tea as well. Overall, I think the restaurant is very good. I would 100% eat there again. I would give it an eight. I do like it a lot. I'm going to eat there again. I want to spin back and try a little bit more of the crazier stuff. They had a pretty good size appetizer menu. They also had a pretty good amount of ingredients with the poke. A lot of different proteins, probably six or seven. As far as ingredients you can put in it, you're allowed up to like five in like five different categories. I was just clicking things when I was ordering it online. Um, ramen, same thing. I want to see if they can build one. I want to try the spicy one just because I would have liked it a little bit more. That's why I think the spicy one would have moved me more. And the wings, pff, I don't know how to be frying stuff this good, but it's delicious, my boy. Bubble tea for the first time, I'm with it. I do recommend. I do think it's worth it. I think you should check it out. 
Brand new. I mean, grand opening. The balloons are still in there. White Kiki, Poke Bowl, and Ramen. The logo is right there. Nice looking place. Very clean inside. Friendly staff. Always W's. That's going to be the end of the video, though. You already know the vibes. We'll be back tomorrow. More content. I love y'all. The hand signs. They made it to YouTube.